Hello, and thanks for stopping by to view the Oracle Marketing Cloud, aka Eloqua, to Microsoft Dynamics Put It Forward Integration Application. From within the application itself, we can integrate complex as well as simple business use cases between the two teams themselves. This helps in attribution, automation, as well as activity sync between the applications. No more expensive developer costs to create these resources. As we step into the tool itself, we can begin to take a look at the Put It Forward application. This application is accessible through the web. When we create the connectors, we can create a name for them. Typically, it's something you want to remember, or perhaps it's based on the application type. We can create them based on activity, as well as notification on changes, and the ability to persist logs. We can set the amount of max rows batched between the two applications themselves. This is the amount of data that you would like to bring across at one point in time. We can set a schedule for every hour, every day, every month, or custom. Perhaps even real time is what you're looking for. The tool can do that. As we filter through the months and we select a specific time we want the application to begin its integration, we can go ahead and click Save. Now, As we select Save, we are brought into the property creation of the application itself. What this allows us to do is it allows us to select the properties based on the two applications itself. We begin to integrate through the API level. We're going to take information based on your application instance. From within the applications, we can then select properties. These properties are going to be populated based on information exposed to your API. As you can see here, there's a long list of information. Since we take the configuration over code approach, this makes things very, very easy. We simply select, click, and then begin to map the information itself. As you can see here, we have created the connector and we're going to map first name, last name, as well as email between the two applications themselves. As we take a look at the process page, we can go back and we can begin to run the connector. Before we run the connector, let's go ahead and create ourselves a contact within Oracle Eloqua. When we're creating a contact within Eloqua, we have to put in a valid email address. Otherwise, how are we going to run the campaign? As you can see there, the blue line is then populated for the create. We're going to enter in a first name and as well a last name. Select create and let's run back to the put it forward application itself. From here, we can now run the connector. Since we're bringing over contact information based on email, first name, and last name, this information should sync up within Microsoft Dynamics. Let's actually go ahead and refresh the page to ensure that this information has synced up appropriately. From within the search, we're going to select the appropriate name. Deborah is the name that we instituted. From within here, let's go ahead and find that we have found two contacts, one of which matches from the Eloqua contact integration. As you can see here, we now have Deborah test one. The full name is Deborah test one and as well the email, debratest one at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and show you just exactly the information is how it syncs and is lined up. This information can be synced on the fly, especially if you're working within real time. It makes things very, very easy for these two teams to communicate and have information integrated between the two. That does it for today's video. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at any other time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.